And I'm going to explode this. The four curves. Explode this one as well. So we can just do some simple two rail sweeps. Let's get the first one going here. Sweep two. I'm actually going to choose a metal O1. From here to here. Maintain height. And hit OK. Let's take a look in our shaded view. It's a good sweep there. Let's keep going with the rest of them, just side by side. Do sweep two. Alright, we'll do the bottom. Sweep two. And we'll do the last of it right here. Do sweep two from this profile this profile. Alright, there we go. We've got a nice end there. Let's join that up. And it is a symmetrical piece, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate with copy. Uh, copy from F4. You'll see it's not exact. Um, that's alright. We can uh, just blend that together or move it in. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it just so we have a little bit. Actually, you know, we could even just loft this, so I'll just do that. Um, actually, you know what? It looks good as it is. So um, I'm just going to move it together with my Orient 3. Uh, I believe you can move it together just end to end and it'll work, but just to be sure, just we have all our, our sealed edges together, I'm going to go this end to this end to the bottom. Then on here, I'm going to hit copy no since we're just moving it, and I'll go this end to this end to the bottom. There we go. Now we know it's lined up correctly, we can join that together. There we go. So now we're going to work on the bottom part. And to do this, let's bring back our curve here. And what I'm going to do for this one is draw out some curves from, we're going to try and stay in the middle here, from here going this way, and from about here going this way. Okay. And now we kind of have to think about what's lining up with what. So if we look at the picture, um, seems to be covering our model. Just move that down a little bit. There we go. Alright, so if we look at our picture, this, this is this top interface is going all the way around and then running into this one. So we know that this edge is going to match up to this edge. So let's turn that picture off real quick. And I'm going to select my object here, and uh, I don't have a profile on this edge, so I'm just going to hit uh, Duplicate Border, and that'll put one on there. It's actually putting two on there, so we can uh, delete this other one here. Oops, where did that go? Oh, it looks like it didn't join them together. I'm just going to um, hide that blue one real quick delete the new one. There we go. And I'll join the other one together here. Join. Alright, so now, oops, now we can go ahead and turn this off. And we've got our, our two, uh, we've got our two profiles here at each end. And so we need to make it do a nice sweeping motion like so. And so the first thing I'm going to do is move these profiles, which are the ones we're going to be uh, using to blend with, and I'm going to move them down. So let me turn that on. These are going to go down just below our over overpassing piece. Let's hide that. And I'm going to hide these rails as well. We're just going to do the straight out, hold and shift, ortho out. And now we're going to start blending. So let's do a blend from here to here. Bring back our red just to see how we're doing. Let's go ahead and bring this in. 
Bring that out. Alright, there we go. That's pretty close. We can always turn on F10. Uh, throw some points around. There we go. Get it to match nice and nice and exact there. And let's go ahead and blend the other one. Let's turn off our curves. Do blend from this curve to this curve. And we'll bring this guy back here. There we go. That's pretty similar. We'll hit enter. Go ahead and make a little final adjustment here. Bring that in. All right, so let's go ahead and delete these ends here. I'm going to do the same rotate with copy from F4. There we go. And I'm just going to move these ones uh, back into place using a orient two points with copy off. So we'll go from here to here and here to here. There we go. These just about match up, so let's just go ahead and edit those real quick. Turn on F4, move this one to this end, move this one to this end. There we go. Looks good. Um, so let's go ahead and sweep that. Delete that. I'm going to join these profiles up. And we'll give that a sweep too here. I believe this should work. Oops. Oh, looks like these aren't joined first. So let's join that. So now that those are joined, let's go ahead and run a sweep too. This profile and this profile. I want to make sure our arrows line up. I'm going to move it to the top mid, which should go along this and have the arrow pointing inward. So I believe we need to flip this. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Um, maintain height. We're going to add slash. Just gonna get rid of these um, these weird lines in the corner here. Let's go perpendicular. Enter. All right. So that's a good sweep there. Looks good. Let's go ahead and bring back our other piece. And we can join these together to one closed poly surface. Now we've got that infinity shape that we like. It does pass under it makes that whole spin deal. Uh, of course you can move your curves right here that we were blending, you can move them down so it has more of an oval shape, however you like, but this this blending method is the best way to get that. So now we're just going to go ahead and extract an ISO curve down the middle here. Midpoint, put that on blue. The same thing over here. Go ahead and join those up. F6 it. Put some gems on curve. Select down. Actually, we can select object. Choose the object itself. Uh, we'll change the size. I think we went with about 1.4s. Change the spacing here. And actually, it looks like we're going to have to mirror and turn on taper gems. I believe they taper in the picture. Oh, I can't really see it right now, but let's taper these down to about one. All right, we'll move this to the center here. There we go. We'll put on gen tops. Hit enter. F6 again. We'll channel build it. Uh, that looks a little deep. There we go, and I believe they were prong set in the picture. So we're just going to expand this width a little bit. 30. And then we'll Boolean this. We'll do a solid Boolean difference with our cutter. There we go. Throw in some prongs. F6 prongs. Uh, let's take those down a notch. Actually, it looks like I. I cut just a little too close to the edge here, so let's go ahead and delete these. Uh, I'm going to undo, 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 and undo. 
We're gonna F6. Oops, not edit gems. Sorry. Come on. Go F6. Uh, channel builder. And we're just gonna go ahead and extend that uh, cap length. Extend it just a bit. That should do the trick. Um, yep, that should do it. We'll go ahead and boolean that. Delete and put yes. Take a look at it. All right, that looks good. Now we'll go ahead and put some prongs on there. There's a large prong, small prong. Change the drop. Oops. Oh, looks like I went a little too far with my cutter here. It cut a hole in the side. But, uh, can fix that. Um, I'll do that at a different time here. We can just leave it for now. I may have cut this corner a little sharp, so we can always go back and adjust that. But, for the time being, I would say this is, uh, looks pretty similar to the picture. And that is how you go about getting that uh, infinity spin look for your pendant.